Hi guys, here I am again, and this time is a pickups video for the month of March, I believe. Um, I got a, a f different things um, for the month of March. Finally, I got a few things that have arrived from Limited Run Games. I've been waiting for stuff probably for the last six months, and finally, there are some some of those games have started coming in. So let's start off with that. Okay, um, Pixel Junk Monsters Two. I pre-ordered this not knowing much about it i did know that this game was on the uh playstation portable and i actually played the the uh, demo from the uh nintendo eShop, and i kind of didn't like it but i had already pre-ordered it i got it i started playing it again and i actually like it it's it's really cool uh, a bit of a strategy game you, you got the top down view or you can you can zoom in close to your, your character uh, it's it's so cool seeing games like this get physical release and you know what um, limited run games is doing is just phenomenal and same same, same with uh, super rare games and I think I am 8-bit or I think I think that's what they're called I'm not too sure uh, another one I've been waiting for a long time from from lim limited run games was Saturday morning RPG I did miss out on this one for I think it was on the uh, PlayStation Vita and the PS4 haven't had a chance to play it yet, but it was so cool to be able to get this in the collection. So I'm really happy about that. And I did pre-order both of these together at the same time. And that's why this has taken so long to get to me because this game, I think had something to do with the um, the ratings board or something, I don't know. But I do know that this, this was delayed for, seemed to be a, a, a very long time. And continuing on with limited run games, Bastion for the uh, PlayStation Vita, another great game. And um, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna send around, send around Karagi, Karagi, Karagi. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Um, one of a tip full course. So this is like I don't know if it's like a, a rhythm dance game where you're eating. I don't know, but yeah, it's bizarre. It's Japanese, so hey. That's why I like the Japanese games, but to get Bastion in the collection, I got it on the um, PlayStation 4 and the Vita now. I wish it would come to the, uh, the Nintendo Switch because I would get it as well, but it's so cool when you see these things and they got game manuals in it. You know, if smaller companies like Limited Run can, you know, you know put manuals in with their releases why can't these larger companies do it it's, it i do miss having manuals in games it's something that i really enjoy looking at and another and a game that i've been playing a lot on the uh nintendo switch is dead cells has anybody else played this game this is so addictive it's so frustrating i there's times i just hate this game so much but then i find myself going back and playing this game and i've actually made it to the second boss i've beaten the second boss in this game it's it it does my head in because it's it's so hard it's so frustrating when you die you start back at the beginning of the game but it's something i can't put down it's like my game of the month at the moment it's so cool so if you can find it check get it just i guess the best way to describe it is kind of like a castlevania style game meets dark souls it's that kind of game and it's got that level of frustration when you die you have to start from the beginning but it's it's a fantastic game another thing i picked up from the nintendo switch um nightmare boy this is the collector's well the, yeah the collector's edition of it is this looks like a old um nes uh cowboy box it just reminds me of that it's just the way it it, it looks and there's a cd inside um, i think there's a art book as well and also the, the game which you know the, the art on the game on the cover is it's just great it, it, it is kind of like a 16-bit a looking game but uh, it's it's a great game it is a bit frustrating as well but it's super super cool so I picked up two games for the Wii U now these games weren't released in Australia or Europe I don't know why they were only like um, download games I do know that Gina Sisters Twisted Dreams is available on the uh, Nintendo Switch uh, in you know our territories. This is the American version. I, I just wanted to have this physically in the collection 
And another game that I wanted to have physically in the collection was uh, DuckTales Remastered. I do have this on the PlayStation 3. Uh, when I got it, it was just a download code. There was no disc inside, so I was really, really disappointed with that. But I just wanted to have this physically in the collection just to be able to look at it. Okay, so this next game is my 800th game in my collection. And this is, this was not something that I planned. It's just the way that they got delivered here to me. My very first game was Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. My 800th game is Wonder Boy Returns. How bizarre is that? Uh, this is based on the very first Wonder Boy game and uh, it was made by a Korean company. Uh, it is a strictly limited release. They're all sold out now. If you're looking for one, you're going to have to search eBay and probably pay a lot of money for this. But uh, it comes with like a cool uh, postcard as well. That's that's so cool. But uh, I, just, I, just, I just couldn't believe that this would happen to be my 800 game it's 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 so cool and so uh that's what i picked up for the month of march don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time guys okay bye